that's Multiverse Boom. And it's seven o'clock. And you know what that means? It's wrestling. And it's a pay-per-view. Welcome to Payback. So, here are the matches that are coming up. We have the first match, Becky Lynch. My generation versus the Attitude Era slash Ruthless Aggression Era. Uh, Trish Stratus. Now, here are my predictions for uh, this match. Lita will come and help, too. Uh, yeah, Lita will come and help, uh, too. Uh, Zoe Stark is going to still get involved, even though there's a steel cage. But, uh, but yeah. If, you know, it's really two-on-one, but, but they need to make it two-on-two. Now, I like to see the rivalry between uh, Lita and Trish again. Oh yeah, do you guys like my armband? It's the John Cena armband I got from a from my book. Oh, let me take it off. So this is the the armband that uh, John Cena wore at WrestleMania 31, I guess. Uh. Yeah, I do remember this because it was blue. He was wrestling Rusev. But yeah, that's kind of all I remember. So let me put this. Let me, on, let me put this back on. So. Yeah, okay. Alright. Oh, yeah, the next matches. We got L. A. Knight. Yeah! Versus The Miz. And I know The Miz is going to win because my favorite wrestler of all time is uh, refereeing this match. I think, yeah, he's ref he's refereeing. Uh, let's see, what else? We got Raquel Rodriguez versus uh, Rhea Bloody Ripley. Mom, well, Mommy. They're probably as close as that. And then what else do we have? We also have um, KO, KO and Sammy versus the Judgment Day. And then also we are doing, oh, what else do they have? Theory versus Ray. And everybody was going against Theory but really, I'm a, I'm on Team Ray. Yes, I got the U.S. Championship. It's actually little kids because really, I know the real ones will cost a lot of money. Uh oh yeah, that match. Uh, Rey Mysterio versus Theory. That match, I'm interested in it because really. Uh, you know, that's something that Theory wants, and really, it's Rey Mysterio. Oh, the match is starting. So, what else? Oh. And here's the thing I do not like about Theory. He's so addicted to something that, you know, like this championship. See, you can go for other championships. You can go, uh, you can go team up with a uh, Waller and become tag team champion and also oh yeah and also be a intercontinental champion and literally he got the power to do that he's very strong and you can still be theory uh gunther for it but i'll be mad if, if that actually happens because i really i really don't want neither neither of them to win Yeah, okay. Oh, one more match. And then I'm going to watch the Becky Lynch versus Trish match. So the debut of 
Shinsuke Nakamura on, on my channel and Seth freaking Rollins. So I just realized that he has actually has a broken back because remember, okay, remember I never watched, uh, I haven't watched wrestling in a very long time, kind of ever since I got back to it. So, uh, really, I watched wrestling when I was young, and then I kept going. Then I stopped falling. Then I stopped watching it, and I started watching it again for a little bit. Like I knew, uh, I thought Brock was champion. Uh, Seth was champion at that time. Oh, AJ was champion. I guess Bobby Roode was champion at that time too. And then when I watched it again, uh, oh, yeah, hold up, Kofi was champion too, and then Brock and then Drew, and I stopped watching it, because really, it was mainly because of COVID. Actually, I don't really want this on, because really, I just don't want to. Uh, yeah, it was because of COVID. They had that, uh, everybody was just, it, it was just Quiet in the thunder in the in the Thunderdome. It was like no crowd reactions, no excitement, no oh no no uh oh we yeah I should see yeah reaction I just said it oh they're about to start but yeah I started watching again ever since uh like 2021 like in December. And I heard that uh, Roman Reigns was the greatest, was, you know, Universal Champion. Which was actually in 2021, right? Yeah, 2021. So, yeah, that's it. I'm gonna watch the match and I'll catch you guys up. Guys, Zoe Stark just came in and really she's not supposed to be in there. Well, really she didn't came into the cage, but came into the match. Oh, one, two, kick out. Ooh, he dodged that. She dodged that. Manhandle slam. One, two. Oh, it still counts. It still counts. Man, we need Lita. We're Lita. She's just slammed the door closed. Oh. All right, I'll still fill you guys in. Okay, two, three. And that is one and oh. So Becky Lynch won that match. And I thought Lita. Man, we need Lita. See, I feel like, uh, what is it? When anything is connected to the story, like wrestlers or anything with a storyline, they need to come in to help. Well, yeah, to help, uh, or do something. Like, uh, right now I'm kind of tired of the Bloodline story because really, uh, every. Every time I'm seeing like uh, Jay Uso, Jay Uso standing up right now, but he's but he left the company, and then uh, Jimmy, then Jimmy just helped uh, Solo with his match against AJ Styles last night. Oh, yeah, and then Solo, Solo needs to turn, needs to be a face so he can, so he can uh. You no know, face Roman Reigns for the, for the uh, championship, and probably become Tribal Chief too. Tribal Chief too. But yeah, there's just a lot of stuff that needs to be finished. Or oh yeah, and Sami Zayn needs to be involved in this too. Like even though the Sami Zayn problem and the KO problem is done, 
They still need to do a lot. Of, they still need to do a lot of stuff with it. But yeah, it. But yeah, I'm okay with it. With you know the stories. So right now I am one and zero. Oh. Okay, guys. Uh, Trish turned on. Wait, no. Zoe turned on Trish, which is actually a face turn. Wait a minute. Are they about to do that? Ooh, John Cena's back. I, I was supposed to, yeah, I said that. John Cena is back. He was back yesterday. <laughs> Welcome back, John Cena. But anyway, I just want to say it's going to be my one year anniversary of Multiverse Boom. Thank you for, thank you for the 1,500 1, people that was with me. Uh, and then, yeah, that's kind of it. Yeah. L.A. Knight is here. And, yes, uh, John Cena is special guest referee. Uh, L, uh, Miz is going to lose. Uh, L.A. Knight is going to win. Uh, I can tell he's gonna get involved in the match, uh, John Cena. Oh yeah, I also want to tell you guys something. Do you think that John Cena, John Cena should be on Raw or SmackDown? Once again, I think he should be on Raw because he can go for the World Heavyweight Champion Championship. He can also go against Gunther. Against, go against Cody Rhodes. Like he can do, he can do three things just to become a Hall of Famer. <laughs> so yeah, I feel like uh, he should be on Raw other than SmackDown. Cause I feel like, and also I feel like Raw is has more underrated uh, superstars than SmackDown does. So, it's LA Knight versus The Miz. Um, see you guys later. Yeah, he just won. Mr. LA Knight. He won, and that is 2-0. Oh, uh, let me say this. I'm going to have all my favorites to win. And I actually started doing this when Survivor Series was around. When the bloodline, like, you know, actually formed together and became stronger. But, really, I think I'm going to have all my favorites to win. There are, like, times that I almost have all my favorites to win. Like, at... On day two of WrestleMania. Uh, did I have all my favorites to win? Elimination Chamber? I don't know if about... I don't know about Elimination Chamber. Uh, I had I almost had my all my first twin at uh the Royal Rumble. Um, uh, Backlash. Not Night of Champ. Wait, I think Night of Champions. Huh. first win this time that's it okay guys I'm back and I might ask you guys something so do you guys have a movie you guys have been uh, you know thinking of a movie that you have not watched in a very long time 
kind of like when you're like a little kid or uh you know when you're a little kid or you know like in a very long time and here's why i don't want to hear in the comments Have fun, sis. And, and this movie is actually you know to toddlers used to watch yes, and they still watch it and this you know you know i was a toddler i was a baby before i'm not i still love a lot of kids stuff like uh backyard against i grew up on that show wonder pits and everything even barney because that's the movie i'm about to talk about so a long time ago they had a barney barney movie it had kayla pratt in there Wait, is that her name oh, let me check so it is uh kyla it's kyla pratt I forgot uh i forgot Oh wow, they actually already starting like they're not they're not gonna have the back backstory. So I guess they're gonna start. But let me make this quick. So I used to watch this movie a lot. And I really liked the movie because you no, know, I actually watched this when I was younger. That uh one time I was trying to do something for school. And it was actually on the summer, because really I have to go to school, like, in a little bit. Uh, I was singing, uh, if all the rain drops and gun drops and gun drops, I don't sing that song with my mouth open wide, I, 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 you know. Uh, that's where I had, that's why uh, I had that movie stuck in my head. So, really, because of that song, uh, it's been in my head for a very long time. That movie has been stuck in my head for a very long time. Then I had to watch the movie, and I still have the movie, like the movie disc in my, and, well, still with me. But I have like this disc of, well, I have this briefcase or case of movies and games. Like, I still have like Disney Infinity. Seriously, Cinnamon Toast Crunch? Oh, I thought, oh, they're sponsoring it. Yeah, I have, like, Disney Infinity, Infinity. There's, like, this old Toy Story game I used to play. Well, me and my sister used to play. We play that thing all the time. Because ever since the PS4 uh, stopped... Every, yeah, ever since the PS4 stopped working, I haven't... Uh, I've been playing a lot of games on the PS3. Because I still have it, though. 619... Oh, what does PD? What does PWO mean? Podcasts. I actually don't know what that means. PWO. Champion. Hall of Fame. Ray Mysterio. I'm a big Ray Mysterio fan. I've been his. I've been a fan for him for a very long time. Kind of ever since I started watching wrestling. Yes, that actually happened. But yeah, I have like a lot of. I've been playing PS. Been playing the PS3 up front because you know the PS5 is not still not working. Uh. Hold up, what? What are you talking about? Okay, back onto the conversation. Uh, so I have this movie, it's called Barney's Great Adventure. And I used to watch this when I was a kid and got scratched up and everything. So I had to find the movie on YouTube, the full movie. And I watched it. It was like, man, I'm gonna... My childhood ends like, you know, till I'm 18. And my childhood year, well, decade is actually 2010s. Even though I'm born in 2009. Because really... Because really, uh... In, because really, I was born on December 29th, 2009. 
And really, the 2010s are, it's actually my decade, chi- well, childhood decade. Dang. Uh, but yeah, I'm still, I still like that movie, and it kind of brought me back into, you know, brought me back when I was young. And I'm still going to remember that movie forever. So I'm going to watch this match, and I've been talking for four minutes. United States Champion, it is Rey Mysterio. Seriously, I knew he would not give the t- wait. He will not throw down the title early because really, Rey Mysterio just won it three weeks ago. Like I said in the first, oh, what did that actually say? Oh, wait a minute, payback world order. Oh, payback world or, or world order. I think that's what it actually means. So really. So, once again, Rey Mysterio is U.S. champion still. And like I said, he's not going to give it up until, uh, you know, until he retires or something. Or, you know, to someone, at least in the next two months or three months. Uh, today is Oct- yeah, October, November, December. I think January he's going to lose it and then that's when he's going to retire. So, I am 3-0, finally. I am going to have all my favorites to win. So, we also have KO and Sammy versus The Judgment Day in a Pittsburgh Steel City Street Fight match. So, whatever that is, I think, you know, it's it's going to be a no to DQ. Oh, let me take this off. Uh, so, really, I know, I really want KO and Sami Zayn to win. Because, really, if Damien and Finn Balor get it right, I think that's how they can win. But if they don't, and JD gets involved, uh, it's not going to happen. And I think that's when Damien Priest, uh, moves away, uh, yeah, he's gonna move away from the Judgment Day. Uh, JD's gonna step in, and then you know something else could happen. Yeah. So the match is about to start, and I think KO is wearing jeans. I don't know why. Paying tribute to Dean Ambrose or something. So football is gonna be back. I'm a big, uh, I'm a big Chiefs fan, uh, a Cowboys fan because I live in Texas, uh, Colts because I live in Indiana. Used to, well, I used to live in Indiana. Oh, it's just them two. Yeah, just to make it fair. So they're not gonna have Dominic in their corner. They're gonna have Dominic and uh, Rhea's corner. So really, Judgment Day has an as actually has a second chance. Oh my goodness! So if they actually break up, I'm gonna be really happy. I'm gonna be really happy. We had them for a minute. We actually had them for a minute, and it's probably time to you know break them up. Yeah, yeah, you guys need to work together because it's really Finn can actually be become a Grand Slam champion if he wins. So yeah. Hey y'all, this match is crazy. So once again, this is a no disqualification match. They have uh, uh KO just did a Swanton against Dominic. And yeah, he interfered. Obviously, I thought he was gonna be uh, in the, gonna be in uh, Rhea's corner, 
you know, I thought JD was going to help him, so that would, like, you know, help him, help KO Sammy get, you know, get the help to win. Oh, Exploder. My Sammy Zane. Yeah, this match is going crazy. They, uh, Kevin Owens was bleeding, uh, Dang. One, two, kick out. <laughs> so really this is actually a good match. Oh, uh, what else was I gonna say? Oh, I guess that's it. So let's I'm still enjoying this match. All my favorites to win. First of all, I'm happy that Finn Balor is a Grand Slam champion, but seriously, they just won. Dang. How? Oh my goodness. Seriously, what just happened? This is not supposed to happen. No, now I'm... Now I am three and one. Dude, okay, first of all, congratulations to the Judgment Day. Second of all, I did not want them to win. And three, it's Dominic. It's always him. We just need to remove Dominic from the equation, from the... We just need him out. But how? See, now, okay, so another thing. This is like the bloodline numbers. It's the numbers game. Yeah, Sammy. They had uh, Jimmy and Jay. They had Solo, and now they have five Roman Reigns. Oh my goodness, they just won. I thought this was going to be the end, bro. That was one, two, three. First of all, I think that they. Should have won, uh, Kale and Sammy, because I thought I wasn't paying attention, or I thought it was one, two, three. Come on, now, now Judgment Day has all gold. Oh my goodness! Oh no. Okay, I'm okay. I'm just still mad that Judgment Day. One. So right now, I don't know why, but Grayson Waller is having a talk show with the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. Day one ish with me down since. Day one ish with me down since. Day one ish till I'm all up, knocking down like this. Made of it, Jake Uso is back. Let's go to the Uso game. <laughs> Bro, Jay Uso is back. Like, I knew he would be back, but I did not expect him to become a main, like, no, main event Monday Night Raw, Jay Uso. Jay Uso is back. Since they want it, let me down. Since they want this, I'm all up, knock them down like this. Welcome back, main event, Jay.
Bro, he got blonde hair. Yeah, he got blonde hair. You been gone at least, um, yeah, you been all at least three weeks, like what he said, or yeah, at least three, yeah. Bro, ha wait, welcome back, Jay. Shout out to you. All right, so I guess we have one more match, and that is Shinsuke versus Seth freaking Rollins. We're gonna have Raquel Rodriguez versus. Uh, Rhea Ripley. So, yeah, they're just gonna wrestle, and then I got one more match, and then I'm done, and it's nighttime for me. Still, uh, women's champion Rhea Ripley, and really, I wanted to win, so that is, I said that is three. I'm three and one right now. So I'm thinking I'm four and one. So that, so next match is gonna be the last match. It is Seth Rollins, the World Heavyweight Champion, versus the somebody who has never won the World Heavyweight Championship. It is Shinsuke Nakamura, and I don't care who wins. So really, really right now I'm. <laughs> I'm five. I'm about to be five and one. So really, I don't care because really, I like both of them. Seth, freaking Rollins. He is still your world heavyweight champion, Seth freaking Rollins. And. That is the last match of the night. So, that's kind of it. But they actually did have a good match. 